And here we have uh, another session on the use of synthesizers, in particular the MS-20. And today, what we're going to look at are LFOs. Now, on the MS-20, the LFO is actually labelled Modulation Generator. And you'll notice that we've got an LED that's flashing there, which is giving us an indication of the frequency of the LFO. Well, what is an LFO? An LFO is a low frequency oscillator, and it's essentially the component that produces siren type effects when it's applied to pitch. Uh, you can use it um, on the pitch, so you can see MG there, modulation generator. This is the intensity control for the pitch. <laughs> which is a typical siren effect, and I've just knocked the camera. Um, we can also use it on the filters. So if I turn the um, modulation generator intensity for the high pass filter, and close it, So that's on the high pass filter, and then on the low pass filter, as usually, what as usual, one has to close the filters first of all, and then turn the intensity up. So this is going to open and close the low pass filter, and you generally get more noticeable effect if you turn the peak or the resonance up. <laughs> And I could speed that up. And you'll notice a kind of machine like effect. And this is the kind of effect that's used a lot for Im imitating helicopters and various other types of um, machine sounds. Now, this particular synthesizer doesn't uh, enable you to control the amplitude or the amplifier with the LFO um, without p patching. So, essentially, what we can do is to work with the low-pass filter, the high-pass filter, and the pitch. This is the frequency control. So, let's uh, do something here. And then here we have the waveform uh, control, and um, when it's not patched in, we'll see there's a triangle wave at the top. But if you turn the dial anti-clockwise, it becomes a sawtooth wave. So it goes from high to low, turn it up, triangle, and then the other way it's low to high. So we are able to change the waveform in a continuous way using um, the waveform control where it's a triangle wave and with the use of a patch cord we can change that into a square wave by plugging on the right hand side the patch cord there so I'm plugging it into the square wave modulation generator and for convenience I'm going to put it into the total uh, control because that affects everything in one go so it's easier to hear it and typically a square wave is an on off type effect while you're jumping between the two values quite nice and then you can get a, get a, a kind of a pulse wave effect. One direction. In the other way. Which is... Okay, and we can apply that to perhaps both. Now, if you might have noticed that when I turned the frequency quite high, 
we could actually start to hear a note. And that's the essentially the basis of FM synthesis, frequency modulation synthesis, where you, you, the frequency of the modulation of a sound is so fast it actually creates a new note, which gives a kind of grainy effect. There. Just about hear it. Other synths can go faster, so it's more obvious in that particular uh, uh, respect. Essentially, that's what LFO is. Um, some synthesizers have more than one LFO control. Um, very often, the LFO is connected to the, the bend wheel here. On the EMS20, you would do that by patching. So you connect the uh, the the, bend, the the tone wheel there to maybe total again, just because it affects everything. It's a lot easier to uh, to set that up. And if you add reverb or delay, then you can get some very interesting effects. And uh, the the basis really of a lot of the psychedelic effects which were used in the early 70s, people like Hawkwind and uh, other such bands. <laughs> Goodbye.